Hey everybody, it's Tim Whittemore here, your local expert and enthusiastic professional here today talking to you about why some buyers are surprised with closing cost. So I'm going to try to mitigate some of that here today. Of course, your best answer to this is to talk to your real estate professional before you even start with your uh, whole buying process. Uh, we here at the Whittemore Group do a free buyer's consultation. Anytime that you're considering or in the process there of purchasing a house, uh, so that we can explain all this. So let me give you at least the bottom line up front. So there are three different parts that you have to be worried about as far as a mortgage is concerned. I got this cool little whiteboard, as you probably saw when we first started this video. <laughs> we have this thing called a down payment. We have a purchase price and these things called closing costs. Now a down payment could be anywhere between zero to we'll say up to 20 plus percent. Okay, and a down payment's whatever this percentage is of the purchase price, which is due at closing. Okay, uh, we have our purchase price. Say that we're looking at homes for two hundred thousand dollars, and we get one sweet discount on that. We end up getting it for one ninety. Well, that's what we do as real estate professionals: is we get you good deals, especially if we can. Right. So that's your purchase price. Your next is these things called closing cost. So in most states, uh, you won't pay as a buyer for representation for a real estate agent. Uh, we're actually free to you. The seller, on the other hand, or not the seller, the, you know, I guess the seller, <laughs> the person listing their house ends up uh, paying for both commissions, not just for the listing side, but also for the selling side. So we, as your real estate professionals, are free representation for you. Can't beat that, right? But on the other side of that, on the flip side, we have these things called closing costs. That's what you got to pay for. It's essentially the cost of doing business, right? So in this price range, your closing costs, we're just going to say is anywhere between five to $7,000, which is going to be due at closing. Now that could be a whole lot. And if you don't have that, or you just want to save that to say, upgrade the kitchen later or whatever, you can have the seller pay for it. But if we're going to do that, we'll just say that it's $5,000 for the ease of math, right? What we're going to do is we'll have the seller pay for it, but we're going to have to incrementally increase this purchase price for that to cover that. So instead of $190, it's going to be $195 as we bring it on over here with the seller paying your closing costs. As you can see, this nets the seller at the same and pretty much what you're or at, at closing. And essentially what you're doing is you're just financing an extra $5,000 over the term of your mortgage, which is typically 30 years. Okay. So for closing costs, there's a, there's closing costs for the seller and there's also closing costs for the buyer. Most of the closing costs, as I'd mentioned before, will be on that side. If you need a comprehensive list of what those are, please do message me or any anyone on my team and be happy to give you those closing costs uh, given the applicable state that you were in. Please do either email or give us a call or a, uh, a text message. Our phone number and information is under this video here. Hope this was useful and we'll see you next time.